<laughs> it's all good. <laughs> we don't need him. We have a good match today right here. So it's True. Snake and Minecraft Steve. Mm -hmm. Battlefield. This is one of those stages that, you know, gives those neutral materials for Steve. Mm -hmm. So, sort of, I guess, even. Oh, I forgot about that mechanic about Steve where they get yeah. different kinds of materials depending on what stage they are. Yeah, that's why. Don't want to take Steve to Town or Kalos. Those give so much iron. Okay, Bando's got that. You get yeah. two bands here, Zeno. Mm -hmm. All right, so... That said... They're both keeping it even right now. Yeah. Not much of an approach game going in, just using their resources to try to build an opening. Mm, it's going to be interesting to see what grenade can tie with in Steve's kit, because I know it ties with quite a lot of projectiles, even like very high priority ones. God damn. Even just for sense, not much action. Yeah, they're both sort of doing their comping. thing. Yeah, this, yeah, he's doing their thing. Oh my god, he got hit by that. Oh. That's crazy. Wait, is the is the C4 on Steve? It was. Oh, it was. It was. Yeah. Got to oh, watch out ready. for that. Oh my! Not ready for that one. Though. <sighs> Hopefully, he's ready for the Coltman special. You know, the C4 ledge drop. <laughs> oh. Detonate on the platform. Oh God. And, oh. oh man, try to fight his way out of the box that he was put in by Steve because his character can do that. Oh. Yeah, that that up smash so strong, and it's also just so active too. Oh my. Ugh. Wasn't really off the ledge drop, but that is the Coltman Pandit C4 on the platform right there. Always keeps it there, just in case yeah. for security. Gotta always that too. Oh. Yep, placing it again. <laughs> always be wary of that. No matter where you are on the stage, it's always gonna stay there. Coltman's always gonna put mm -hmm. it there. Doesn't care. It's just gonna. Oh. Ooh. One approach. Sorry. Oh. Nice little tech chase there from Coleman for some damage, but that spot already burnt the already burnt the up. He just slipped past the ledge. Probably trying to like do that close enough to them where they landed on the stage, but they just slipped right off and suicided. Yeah, that's gotta always hurt. You know, whenever you air dodge off stage and then you just see your character just slowly fall down. <laughs> when the stocks here fall, they hurt the most, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't matter much for Coltman as they can build up a lead right back. Very true. Steve is a bit on the lighter side, if I remember correctly. And Snake's up tilt kills you pretty early. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm liking O's game plan here in this matchup. Yeah. They're choosing a lot of moments where they 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 trap Snake in like this little pseudo box setup that they have with like the, the little dirt clumps and the and the side B. Mm-hmm. Forcing Coltman to choose an action out of every situation he was put in right there and then just like baiting it and then jumping over and punishing it. Really good. He yeah. did that multiple times in these stocks. It was pretty good. Yeah, and the block placement also helps so much with some of these setups. Like we saw earlier with that, the block and then the anvil. And then also that block right there hitting into it with the uh, back air. Being able to force you so that even when you think you're going to be away from a... Uh, Still, like, you're just sent right back. Nicely done. Nicely done. Minecraft Steven. All right, so we'll see what the Coltman's going to pick for his counter pick. What are you thinking? Uh, not Town or Kalos. That, oh, okay. are they just going for the... No. I didn't see them leave. I didn't yeah. hear them leave either, so we'll see. we'll see. It might just be Battlefield again, which, mm. honestly, I wouldn't be surprised by because Steve does have a few... Kills that just go up. All right, back to battlefield. Getting tossed already, getting comboed. Mm. Most impressive thing about Steve to me, in my opinion, is the amount of damage he can build off of straight hits and grabs. Yeah, yeah you it's just really get a lot. <laughs> you get one up tilt, you get one walking uh, F tilt, and I mean, that's that's like 30, 40, 50% right there. Watch how you approach this character. Mm hmm. Really makes you have to second guess what you want to do in your approaches. Coming as all set up on the ledge, but uh, taking a sweet time to come right back on just to avoid all the explosions. Really good stuff. And gets the gold pickaxe. Ready to yeah. chop off Snake's life. It's always so stressful uh, as well to see 
Steve mine because sometimes it's so tempting to just want to stop them from mining, but sometimes it's not the greatest idea. Also a little low on resources, but it doesn't matter. If they got this weapon equipped, it's danger time for the other person, but Coleman fighting back out, securing that first stock with that back air. Going right into diamond, though, so that means that for the rest of this, it's going to be... Oh. That just broke the cipher. Oh my god. Oh, jeez, I didn't notice that he tried to up <laughs> I thought he tried to delay it super late, but... Yeah, just went falling like a rock in the water. <laughs> Like, once that up, oh, Minecraft Steve looks like he gets like, a hard time on, on recovery and disadvantage uh, situations. For sure. Oh. oh. This is always so stressful to be. Oh, he took a grenade! Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, the, the combo master over here. You can combo and you with your own grenade. <laughs> ah, damn. Do you ever do you think uh sometimes sees like oh this character generates items so I'm gonna practice combos with that character's mm -hmm. items? I believe so. When you have certain matchups in the game like that, that's like it's stuck for there from uh. When you have certain matchups like this in the game where like there's some of them that could benefit you to uh, to learn how to fight their items like gyro, mm -hmm. grenades, etc. Yeah, it would behoove you to to learn how to fight around it just to. Just fight better against it. You don't <laughs> want to give classic. them the edge. Because sometimes, like, the opponent does not know how to deal with their own things. Yeah. That is one way, one good way to catch them off guard as well. Oh. God, the pressure. Yeah. Oh, it's really taking it to Coleman right now. One of the scariest things about this. Oh, good. Oh! It's the parry and the up tilt. Coltman keeping this fight really close. Diamond's back on, and that's so scary for Coltman. Yeah, one thing I I will say about Snake players is like, the, no matter how different they are, I don't think they're gonna choose to go really aggressive off taking a stock, since they rather prefer to go for a setup instead. Yeah, but sometimes so, it's so dangerous to hold back against Steve. Yeah. It's, that's one other thing. You don't want to give Steve the resources he can to, he can use to kill you. Oh my god. Ugh. Always putting Snake uh. in these dangerous situations and kills him right in the end there. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Two against oh. against Steve, it's like a forest. You gotta always watch out for those bears. Just ugh. It's always in this this close range situation that us putting Snake in, where it's fight or flight. He's got to find his way out, just to land a hit or just escape. Minecraft Steve and his disjoints and kill moves. It's just it's just really it's really difficult for a Snake. It is, and if they feel like not engaging, oh, is it? Oh, it's a three. Best yeah, to five. It's three to five. top six. Yes. Yeah. Top six. Yeah. Technically, it, yeah, it makes sense for best of five top six because this is where the money's at. Because yeah. we got Vacherino now, but oh. we've always done this ever since we started Zeno, Zeno Wi Fi's. True. It's going right back to Battlefield. Coltman thinking, okay, I can do this. If I don't SD, I just get it working. Counter pick advantage does belong to uh at this point if Coltman does take this game. Yeah. We're probably not going to be seeing. <laughs> that many stages this set <laughs> considering how well Oz has been doing this entire set but i mean right now it does look like coltman's you know sort of turned it around yeah keeping the fight close mm -hmm. they just have to watch themselves into disadvantage so their leads don't own up to nothing for sure because steve can just bring back the damage to even so quickly in like a matter of two or three neutral interactions <laughs> it's even scary when they have good resources and Speaking of good resources, shout out to C4 on the platform. <laughs> the Coltman special. Coltman special. Choosing to put it on the top platform that time just to secure that kill. Wonder if he'll do it again. Okay. Oh. Nice Ooh. little switch up of an approach that Coltman's doing with their grenades. They're choosing to spawn the grenades as fast as they can and then grab them as fast as they can just to throw an aerial out with it. Always got to watch out for that minecart because. Oh. When it comes in, 
It can either just grab you or it's just gonna hit you <laughs> like a truck. Yeah, technically a free kill at high percents for, for uh if it does connect. Ooh, that was such good placement, seeing that they were gonna go for a ledge roll. Yeah, delaying the ledge grab, seeing they're gonna refresh it, they do. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really have to interact. That's one of the great things about this character. You can sort of stall very effectively. <laughs> sort of like we fit in that way. You know, just go off that... stage, stall. Okay, yeah, putting that triple wall up, building more mine <laughs> resources, get some mithril. Mithril diamond, oh. sorry. It's oh. Same to me. <gasps> oh my oh. god. Dangerous situation there. Not a high enough percent to die to the down throw, but the forward tilt takes it away. Coltman answering back. Yeah, this is a solid game lead right now. Oh, the anti-air down tilt. Oh, blocks the whole anvil. Wow. It's two fresh hits on your shield and almost such a breaks it. Such a scary move to block, too, because if it was on a block and it hit your shield, then that will break it as a guaranteed setup. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, uh, no slouch answering back with a stock of their own. It's about time he lost that. But the lead belongs to Coltman, so they can choose to time out or not approach if they want to. That is good, though, because forcing a Steve to approach does make it so that it's a lot harder for them to do their thing. You know, just harder to mine because that timer will tick down slower and slower. <laughs> you're just gonna be too busy playing Minecraft when you're supposed to be playing uh, Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch. All right, the advantage is in Coltman's side here. As one wrong move from Uh can take away his last stock. God, he's trying to anvil oh. him so bad. That back air hits clean. Coltman putting one on the board. Nice stuff. Wow. Now here's where the mind games begin here, because. Mm -hmm. Now the counter the counter pick advantage goes straight to uh. Mm -hmm. Uh will most likely choose to go to one of their, their better stages. Yeah. And Coltman has the choice of banning both of them and then giving every single other stage like the advantage choice to to uh. So uh could pick a stage that he likes to go regardless of the, the sources that he could build from it. Mm -hmm. I know that you, um, yeah. stages like Yoshi's give wood and wool. Wool being a stage, like wool being a material that only comes from specific stages. It doesn't come from like neutral stages. Uh, it's Kalos gives redstone, iron, and I forget what the last one is. And then Town gives a ton of iron and wood. So. Maybe keeping uh, Yoshi's open, hmm. and then the neutral stages will probably stay open as well because that makes it so it's a little bit harder than those preferred stages to get the really good materials. Yoshi's could be a good choice. Yeah. A lot of a lot of early kills you can get off of it. Mm -hmm. So if you get the right materials and the right rotations and stuff, you can build your advantage. end the game a lot quicker. So let's mm -hmm. see where they're going to go. They, they chose to leave the arena, so they're definitely picking yeah. a new stage. Coltman versus Uh. It's going to be interesting to see if Coltman knows about those material differences on those stages. Hmm. Very, very. I, I certainly know. wouldn't study that sort of stuff. Uh, I didn't even <laughs> study that stuff. I just oh, no. saw it. <laughs> I'm. I just see it in matches, and I'm like, oh, they get a lot of that material, because I remember the stream that was giving the breakdown of Steve. It's like, oh, oh yeah, you mean the Sakurai one. Yeah, the Sakurai oh, one. Okay. He's like, oh yeah, different stages give di uh, different material like ratios. All right. Game three. Wait, no, game four. Sorry. And Yoshi's it was. Let's go. Yep. Shout exactly. out to predictions. Yep, exactly like we talked about. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't give a bad amount of iron. He built it all off that platform. Yeah, there's that wool. It, it's a very weird looking. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Coleman! You ready to swing? God damn. Something to wake you up in the morning with like a cold bucket of water. <laughs> Definitely shine, shine the flashlight in your face as you wake up in the morning. <laughs> and throw the bucket of water. Okay. 
Coleman bringing the CQC to up. Placing that well-timed dash attack too to get it too. They were realizing that Uh likes to use defensive grabs where mm -hmm. they would they would react to someone approaching them with grab. And so they delayed their dash attack there just to, just to get that opening in. Oh, oh wow. Spot. Yeah, that is actually a pretty good thing about this stage though for Steve because that means you can't really hug the stage from the bottom because in order to get there, they can just throw that anvil down straight from the top and it'll mean that you have to go from the side instead. She chokes him. Trading percentages right now. Yeah, going low kind of looks like a death. <laughs> He's not a grenade, just bounce back. Imagine having to study the angles of where you got to throw your grenades here too. Because it's also oh a thing that's unique to this matchup. Wow. Oh, Clean hit of forward air. Watch your life. Oh, I don't combo. Amazing Even stuff there from us. After such a strong first stock from Coltman, it seems Uz just completely turned it around. Jeez. <gasps> He's chasing him with that thing. What a psychopath killer. Builds a wall. Those walls break really fast. Hmm. Interesting. They're getting all their resources ready to come in on, on Jesus' shield. It's coming back on Colton. This is such a strong comeback there from uh, and now they can just sort of disengage. But one thing about stages with walls does mean that you can't really do the uppy under the stage and just go around. <gasps> that's that's the scary thing. Like, do you take the hit there? Oh god, <gasps> he didn't die. He was heavy enough to live. I think it's because they because O was the one that took the main damage from it. There are like specific parts of the TNT that deal more damage. All right then. Oh god. Yeah, you, you don't want to stay blocking any of us approaches here as he's trying to really kill with this this diamond pickaxe. He's got this diamond hands ready. He's putting Snake in a lot of situations oh. where <laughs> he's forced to block. Oh, the chase. Oh my god. Oh. He's so lucky he survived that. Oh no! He scoops him off. Is he alive? Oh! Oh wow! The cipher saved his life. Oh, trying to end the stock. There's some redstone too. He's chasing with that minecart. Oh man! One of the strong things about oh, one of the strong things about that redstone is it makes the minecart so much stronger and faster too. So it can definitely kill you a lot earlier. But I mean, earlier is not really concerned. The grenade saves his life. Coleman taking his time on this platform here. Doesn't want to mess up his ground approach. Peace by peace. Diamond. No, he goes. Oh, oh God. Coleman trying to do the Coleman special. Oh, on him. Oh. oh, get away! Oh, he just stood on it and waited there. Oh, it takes the set. Oh my Didn't have to God. lift a finger. Put him with the wily coyote setup on the <laughs> on the dirt clump, the acme. Oh, man. Both of them trying to take that last stock with their own padded setups right there, but us setup, which took a little bit longer, prevailed. Look at that, and the, then runs in, and he then was so safe. <gasps> Boom! Right in the head. Oh man, you wish you could dash and block. <laughs> you wish you can dash and block. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff to uh taking that set. They're moving on to the money placements. Top three is money. The whole top four. As we have $87 today from our Macharino. Shouts to you guys in the chat for donating your coupon mm -hmm. codes. Yeah! Much appreciated. I did my part. Yes, I did too. 